I'm Shannon Ogden with your Denver 7 update. As of this hour, 7,900 cases have been reported in Colorado. 329 people have died. 1,500 people now admitted to the hospital. Remember, that is since the start of the crisis. That is not current occupancy. And here really is the most encouraging number of all. Take a look. UC Health says tonight 370 of its patients have recovered from COVID-19. Another 250 continue to receive care within that hospital system. Contact 7 investigator Jennifer Kovaleski has been hearing from the experts crunching the numbers. As the numbers and data keep coming in, there appears to be light at the end of the tunnel. We're still seeing some increases, but perhaps things are starting to flatten. But we're not in the clear yet. Now is not the time to go out and have a giant birthday party or go hang out with all your friends. Elizabeth Carlton is with the Colorado School of Public Health. Now is the time to kind of hunker down and not lose this giant investment we have made. She's part of an expert team crunching the numbers to help the state understand COVID-19. Do you still believe, based on your data, that we haven't reached the peak here in Colorado? It's possible we've reached the peak. But Carlton says their concern now is a secondary spike. If we flatten the curve so much, we see this early small peak. But once we relax measures, there's potential for this second spike. How do we go back to normal and avoid a secondary spike? That is the question that needs to be answered. That may be some sort of lowered levels of social distancing. Carlton says if the governor lifts the stay at home order as planned on April 26th, we will need to better isolate those infected with the virus, trace who they came in contact with and ramp up testing. That may be not just testing for current infections, but getting a handle on who's been infected previously. As for the newest data, the governor says the state will start releasing soon, which is the number of people who have recovered from COVID-19. Carlton says that information is also key. The more people we have that are recovered and assuming that we have some sort of short or long-term immunity to the disease, that means those people can't get infected again. Crucial data in the days and weeks ahead that will shed further light on the outbreak in Colorado. Some needed optimism there. Thank you for watching this Denver 7 update. Make sure to download the Denver 7 app for your smartphone. You breaking news and alerts around the clock. I'm Shannon Ogden.